Hi, welcome to Drive With Care. I've got to do the school run and it's raining. <laughs> so you're gonna join me and we're gonna go from Whitfield down to Park Farm in Cherison or Folkestone. And it's a rainy, rainy day. So early morning, school run, rainy day. What hazards can we see? Well, definitely people will not have their headlights on. And so what I'm going to do is put my little counter for all the cars that I see without headlights on. Because the weather is awful. And it's that old C and B scene, right? <laughs> and if you get frustrated and annoyed at my indicator, uh, you know, the counter, click, click, click. Think how annoyed I get with my OCD at people not doing the rules. <laughs> so yeah, a little jaunt down the A20 in the rain. Could be good. 50 mile an hour zone. So we've got roadworks and works access and all of that kind of stuff. End of roadworks and into national speed limit. Got the junction up ahead for the A256 joining, so be aware there might be a car coming off the slip road. Or at least when we get there. Nothing coming down. Dual carriageway ending. Speed cameras. <laughs> End of dual carriageway. National speed limit. No U turns for three quarters of a mile. Two way traffic. So many road signs. And I can see everyone's got the headlights on as well. It's good news. Of course, a lot of people have their running lights on, which are on, on the front, but nothing on the back, usually with running lights. Gestione going on. It's par for the course at rush hour and school runs and all that. Who would do a driving video this early in the morning? Wow, that cleared up quickly. Nothing from my right. I shall indicate off. Will the van indicate off? No, he didn't. That's a raspberry from me. Don't forget to use your indicators on roundabouts, people. It's there to help other people. Let others know what you're doing. boy and you know why I'm doing the school run because son and daughter in law are doing a day trip to France <laughs> I don't know if I'd be them crossing the channel in this weather it will be choppy out there Welcome to Dover, 30 miles an hour. End of dual carriageway and possible queues ahead. Oh, I can see the white horses on the sea. Ferries in the port. I 
will do that soon. Son got a, an £18 ferry voucher or something from here now. Oh, it was a clipper ship in the um, harbour. So it might be worth investigating, do a little drive from Cali to Boulogne. Would you want to see that? A bit of French driving. Avez-vous un automobile? I don't know what the rules are regarding car insurance and stuff. Way back when, in the old days, you had to get like a, a, a green certificate, didn't you, for um, travelling abroad. Right, we're in a 40 zone. My ears have popped coming down that hill. 100 yards ahead, traffic lights. And they're green. You may have noticed I've got no squeak going on. YouTube to the rescue. I did a little research and some guy was spraying silicon lubricant on all the nuts and bolts around the suspension. So I bought some. It cost me $9.99. <coughs> spray, 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 spray. I'm getting no squeaks. Maybe it was just all dried out. It may be a temporary solution, but I'm not having to put any overlaid audio of cars sounds without some um, squeaks. And you might have noticed it in my last video where I was driving to um, Whitstable. No squeaks until I started talking, because then I had to reduce that volume to bring my vo vocal volume up. <laughs> Which would have had squeaks in the background, right? Right, the Vauxhall Astra, I'm counting it as a no lights. It might have running lights on, but it's got no rear lights on. There aren't that many. Car let me pass the truck. I'm in this lane because I don't want to enter a dual carriageway on the outside lane. It's just bad, bad form, bad etiquette. I'm fully aware that the highway code changes all the time and that it's highly likely that there's a rule now that says, feel free to drop, you know, enter a dual carriageway on the outside lane off a random. <laughs> I think we should all have a Highways Code um, app that gives us alerts when the, um, the latest update comes along. Right, we can get up to 70 now, assuming we don't hit some slow-moving vehicles. because I want to get to the kids in time for school. So, I should go past the white pan. Because either speeding up or the Seat Leon has slowed down. Funny that. Right, get up to 70. Let's do it. Get past the truck. I liked what the Seat did though, got back in its lane and then came back out again. Another car without headlights. I'm pretty pleased to see a lot of people have got their headlights on.
see that little taxi with no rear lights. It really is hard to see. Maybe it's just my eyesight, I don't know. through the round hill tunnels, a little respite from the rain. <laughs> ahead and squeeze in. Not with all that traffic anyway. Oh, I'm glad I got that squeak done because it means I can do more driving. I've <laughs> left it quite a bit, you know, where I had a long spell in the middle there where I wasn't doing the driving. Anyway, I was thinking, shall I do the whole circuit of the M25. Now I know it's going to be over an hour's drive and I think that would be too long for the channel to have like an over, over an hour's video. But what I could do, join the M25 at Dartford where it's the A299, A289, something like that, where it becomes junction one of the M25. Drive around to Clackett Lane and that would be the first part of the journey. So do it in four because there are four services on the M25. So basically, service to service as a, as a separate video. I think it would be good. M25 in four parts. <laughs> Let me know if you think that would be a good idea. Would you be interested in sitting on the M25 car park with me? <laughs> Crazy times. Thank you. 
It's raining, I'm talking, I'm driving, I'm still fully aware of what's going on, because you have to. But I'm talking to you as if you're a passenger in my car. <laughs> it's all good fun. Where shall I stop? Step into the Sainsbury's car park, which is pull up there, and you can go and get the grandkids. That will do nicely. Stop in a slot. <laughs> there we go. A drive in the rain along the A20 from, well, Whitfield, Dover, Oakston. Um, and lots and lots of cars with no lights on. I, I was mentally seeing them um, and my counter would have gone up. How many did I get? That many. Like on the target, let's see what we can achieve. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and bearing with. Um, drop me a comment if you think the M25 thing is a good idea. I'll see you in another video. Bye for now. Drive with care. Mm -hmm.